Kitbash 3D has added Substance Kits to their long list of really cool things and downloads. Uh, so they have all these different kits. They're on sale right now at the time of release of this video, I believe, for the launch. If you want an extra 20% off, it's supposed to stack. Use code Effectatron20 at checkout. And that works on anything cargo, kit bash related, any kit, anything like that. So and it also gives me a little kickback, so it helps me out. But yeah, so let's take a look at kind of what this is and kind of why this is really cool. Um, to me, personally, from an educational standpoint of like really loving materials and wanting to dive into substance designer and stuff and create really cool materials, this is great from an educational standpoint because I can finally like look under the hood and see what this is because I have Substance uh, Designer and if you didn't know this, uh, you can buy Substance Designer on Steam so you don't have to do like the subscription. You can just pay one flat rate. I think it was like 250. Uh, I bought it, but basically, you know, you don't get the updates unless you pay for it. But it's got enough stuff right now that it's all I need, right? So you can open up these files and you can see inside of this brick file, which we use, uh, basically the way the cargo works is you can say view the kit and you can take a look at this and you can see right here it's on sale. But you just get these awesome cool materials and you have the option to download them as a substance source, which is what I'm looking at here inside of substance and SBSAR, which we'll take a look at in C4D because it actually works like seamlessly into Redshift. And then also you have the option to do the PBR, which is really nice as well. And these textures range because they're substance. They range from like 64 bit all the way up to 16 K, which is stupid. Um, very high resolution. So you can get real tight with this and it can do stuff like that because it's made in substance. So it's procedural. And that's the best part is a lot of these come with seeds and stuff. You can change, change the pattern, change the noise pattern. So you can just copy paste, plop them on a different object. Uh, so it doesn't look like you've copy pasted like a wall. You now actually have two different looking walls, even though you just changed the seed of one of the materials, right? So it's pretty cool. I love that stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, and it works. Um, the D different DCCs all support Substance. Blender has a Substance add-in. Unreal Engine has a Substance add-in. Cinema 4D just works natively within it, uh, which is really nice. So the only issue I have is once you download it, it doesn't work like the other things in Cargo. It doesn't like open it up or click the option to import into the program. You have to just go to wherever you have your download files, which is fine. Uh, and then you have them downloaded and you're good to go. And though, so we could take a look inside of here at some of the <laughs> features, um, but I don't want to overwhelm me with substance right now first. So let's take a look at it uh, with inside of Cinema 4D and how that works really quick. Okay, so we just did the rub tech floor and I also did, we'll say no when we input that in, but you just click and drag that in. And the other one will do the dirty worn brick, which I downloaded earlier, say no. So we'll take a look at these. So the cool thing is, is once you just apply this on your texture, you get to choose the resolution, the size, the random seed, everything. So we're gonna lower it down to 4K just for speed sake of swapping through seeds. So we'll see, here's seed one, and then we're gonna swap it to seed two. You'll see it'll update that material and build it. Now I'm also tessellating it and displacing it. So it's doing displacement and everything, which luckily Redshift is fixing their displacement. I say fixing. They're making it work like octanes where you're not gonna need the geometry to be there as much. It's just gonna work. It's gonna be great. Uh, but yeah, see, all I did was change the seed and I have a completely different floor. So you can use one material, copy, paste it, you know, and go from room to room with a match, but they won't be identical copies of a floor, which is super cool, especially for game devs, like big environments, stuff like that. But beyond that, let's go ahead and open this up. And you can see we have the substance material here and we can choose the resolution all the way up to 16K. We won't do that right now. Uh, we'll leave it about like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and we can see we have extra controls we can turn on. We can change the side, we can change the blend color of different things, change the roughness, the metallicness, the ambient occlusion. And the projection, you can make it triplanar. All of this stuff is built inside of this as well. We can look at this worn brick one, which you can see does look really nice with the displacement and everything. And we're at 4K right now. We could go all the way up to 8K to get all this even more, you know, nicely done. All right, so you can see once you crank it up to 8K, I mean, you get some nice detail on those bricks. Really nice with the tessellation displacement everything set up right I mean, that looks really 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 good and uh so we're going to swap it back down to you know 
we'll just do 2k swap it back down and then what we're going to do is we're going to just go through the random seeds because there's no presets here either a lot of times substance materials will have like presets like color presets things like that these don't seem to which is a bit of a bummer but the random seed is basically like changes it up and we still have full control of controlling the base color all that stuff so you can see random seed boom totally generates different walls so if you do have like pieces just copy paste the material make a different variant of it very quickly just by changing the seed so everything doesn't look like a copy and pasted asset even though it is which is really nice all right base color into the ramp and then that goes into here and now we can adjust the color this way so this will obviously make it black and white which is kind of awesome looking you remember that scene at the end of Hog uh, hogwarts legacy not hogwarts legacy uh one of the harry potters where they have like the black tiles uh the one where they fight voldemort and the, the minister of magic's like oh he is back it's like yeah stupid anyway that i love the black tiles and then like the idea of black brick is so cool to me i don't know why it's dope it just catches the highlights as well anyway so basically now all you can do if you want is you know just adjust the colors so you can play around with the different like just plugging in a ramp and now we've got this nice grout that's a different color uh very bright and you could play around with this maybe make some of this like a little white a little lighter like it's been kind of whitewashed in some spots we'll see slide this down and this might be something you can do in the controls a little easier but to me i just always like values never make sense to me as much as just colors but yeah so now we've got kind of this like speckled whitewash kind of it's not really whitewash it's kind of just eroded brick but that's pretty cool that we have that i'm um, just adjusting a ramp value on top of that which is really cool so yeah yeah, overall, I mean, this is fantastic. It's like, instead of just ha just having a PBR, we now can dive in and create it. And from, you know, from a learning educational standpoint, that is invaluable to me. And I think this looks really, really cool and nice.